welcome back to Let's Play Beneath oh, that's the right. Sky, where we're in this tricky thing. And we can't get the tuning form. I have an idea. This one seemed to stay blind for long now. Mm -hmm. We should use it on the night. Well, yeah. I don't know why, but I feel like clearly we should do that. And if it doesn't work, we'll use it on the well. Modulation increased due to mid defense. Okay, so these. So wait, I can't use the oscillator on the crusader? Well, why don't we walk around him or something? Okay, well, walk that. No, I've tried that, I think. already used something on the well. I know, just in case though. But you just can't walk into the door? It's possible. That's all we can do for now. Yes. It's the link in, and I don't like the. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, oscillator. What do you do? No, I thought it said it did something to. So, range of modulation increased due to class 4 variants in link defense. Professor Piermont. No, oh, maybe we should ask her about it. Who's Piermont? He's the husband of that woman. Cat. But also, let's, uh... Because maybe now we can do something with the terminal. Well, we put it in... Personnel? Nope. Put it in what? Uh, what was I talking about? So now we're looking for the guy. The guy. Oh, he, she told us to get in contact, or she was talking to some guy that was supposed to get in contact with. Who's on ground level. Do you remember the name of him? No. I think it was Rob, which confused me because I thought at first she was talking to this about us. No, she did say, hi, Rob. Yeah, she said, Rob, is that you? And I thought she meant us. 
Yeah, I think she means us. But there's another guy she wants us to talk to. No, because she was saying that she was shocked that she's been made into a D-Link. Which happened before we met her. Gotta feed the cat, gotta feed the yes, cat. Yes, that's what I was doing. And see if Gallagher is back. Oh, well, that's, uh... Hmm. What? Yeah, no, you're right. That cat sleeps a lot. All it does is sleep and eat. It's a cat! What I do know. you expect? That basically all it does is sleep and eat, and it's adorable. And then it comes and wakes him up whenever it, uh wakes up and decides it wants to eat again. Uh-huh. You might need to get up and go, speaking of cats eating, open the door. We never got his name. Excuse me. <laughs> Is this ground level? Yes. I think See so. you later. Do you not think it's ground level? I don't know. What's that? Is that supposed to be like Crocodile Dundee or something? You should have an Australian accent. Well, look. No, I mean, look at what he's wearing. Yeah. No. I. So, I. I think I commented on that before. Hmm. Tell me about your dandelion game. Ah, it's brilliant. You get chased by these giant yellow weeds. You mean dandelions are yellow? The gardener told me they were blue. He's mad. He's not a real gardener. Oh. How'd you know the gardener is a fake? He's got green fingers. That's the sign of a naturally talented gardener. I saw him dipping them in the paint. Anyway, the plants are made of plastic. You're a real help, Vincent. No problem, Rob. <laughs> know where I'd find the old subway? Nah, I've never heard of it. I thought all boys were into railways. <laughs> Get real. What planet <laughs> are you on? Sometimes I wonder. <laughs> Don't wear... Excuse me. You told me dandelions were blue. Did I? Well, what of it? This, this boy blue. assures me they're yellow. <laughs> Smart ass little brat. All right, you got me sassed. I haven't had any formal training, but I've always dreamed of being a gardener. I love them. Every little shrub and succulent. Those dainty blossoms waving their little stamens in the breeze. All right, I get the point. You won't report me, will you? Why should I do that? It's too firmly... Excuse me. Uh, yeah, let's See you save. Later. Because I think this is the guy. Excuse me. Do you know a girl called Anita? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Why do you want to know? She's been murdered. I found her body in the cathedral. Can't see why you're telling me. You, yeah, you tell us. You, you aren't very Excuse discreet. Me. What's your name? It's Eduardo. That's, yeah. 
You're Anita's contact, right? How come you know so much? She left a message on her card. Listen, do you know what's happened to Link? I'm totally confused. Link is a living, self-replicating organism. Originally, it served as an advisor to the Council. But it has gradually taken control. How and why? We're really not sure. Hobart scientists have developed a virus. It will check Link's growth. If we can get it into the system. I thought we were at war will with you Hobart. you give me the virus? I can't. It's been downloaded to Link space. Anita was supposed to retrieve it. Since she had a Shreveman port. So have I. I owe it to Anita to get that virus. No chance. It's bound to be guarded. I can try at least. Well, tell us more. It's Excuse me. Pass that dude. See you. Okay, let's check that there isn't anything near here. Uh, what, why is that suddenly open? Yep. A court? Yes. Uh, I guess we get to go meet Judge Chetney. See if he's a horrible racist stereotype or not. Mm. Or if it's just a name. Silence in court! Security Services Department of Justice, Inc. Judge Chutney presiding. Well, court is know. now in session. Like a horrible resistance type. Silence! Nope. I recognize that villain. An habitual criminal if ever I saw one. Ah, uh, that's Mr. Greaves, my lord. The counsel for the prosecution. Silence when you speak to me. Now, who is the first contestant? <laughs> Defendant, my lord. The case of Union Security Services versus Howard Hobbins. What? Howard Hobbins. Come on up. Nice to see you, Howard. You're not nervous, are you? Not really. The defendant is accused of gross contempt and assault of a security officer. Oh, intolerable. What have you got to say for yourself, eh? I've been framed, Your Honour. May I elucidate, my lord? Go on, then, but hurry up about it. Officer Blunt was investigating a complaint made against Hobbins. After questioning the defendant, he was the victim of an assault. What? Ah, monstrous! Off with his head! Just a flippin' minute! Who's defending me? Defence? Is he entitled to any? I'm afraid so, my lord. Upon my soul, whatever next? <sighs> Who'd be silly enough to defend this <laughs> wretch? Very well. Let's get on with round one. What is going on? on the buzzers, everyone. <laughs> I wish to call Officer Blunt. Call Officer Blunt. Well, he was down here. Please tell the court what happened. Oh, I was assaulted. And is the culprit present in the court? Oh, that's him in the overalls. I rest my case, my lord. Good. Where's my black cap? <laughs> uh, we haven't heard the defense, my lord. Uh, is it really necessary? Oh, go on. Just don't take all day. Now then, Officer Blunt. What was the nature of your injuries? I got very wet. But you didn't suffer any physical harm. I could have caught a nasty cold. Oh, 
tell the court how you got wet. <clears throat> While patrolling on Bellevue, I was saturated by a sudden shower. Did you ascertain its source? Oh, yeah. I heard laughter from the walkway hubbub. So, you saw the accused pour the liquid? I couldn't see anything. My eyes were full of water. But I'd recognize his laugh anywhere. Just how well do you know Hobbins? I've never met him before. <laughs> and yet you say you recognized his laughter. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Who lodged the complaint against Hobbins? Objection, my lord. Defense is contriving to lead the witness. What? It was a simple question. I wish to establish the seriousness of the complaint made against my client. I shall permit the witness to answer. However, I'm awarding Mr. Greaves five points <laughs> for a well-timed interruption. <laughs> So who did lodge the complaint? <laughs> it was Daniel Pibble. What? What was Mrs. Piermont's grievance? Cruelty to her pet dog. I interviewed Hobbins on four occasions. But he still hasn't confessed. Did you examine the dog? Did you examine the dog? Yeah, don't. I tried to. And? The bugger bit me. No further questions. I wish to call Mrs. Piermont. Call Mrs. Piermont. Hello, darling. <laughs> Can we ask that question now? Hello, Robin. <laughs> Why don't you like the club? We just called you here to have that. Silence in court. What was your complaint against Hobbins? He was abused, my little poochie poo. Disgraceful. Yeah, I haven't do? had a dog abuse case since the infamous Spaniel Mangle Scandals. Did you witness the alleged attack? Not exactly. Then how did you know about it? Did the dog tell you? Officer Blunt reported the incident to me. What? Yeah, that's bullshit. How would you describe your pet dog? Objection, Your Honor. This is a trial, not a dog show. Objection overruled, Mr. Green. Five points. I want to get to the bottom of this doggy business. He's an absolute darling, darling. Everyone adores him. But Officer Blunt said it bit him. Oh, that would be the uniform. He was mauled by a troop of scouts when he was a puppy. Had you met Hobbins before this incident? I don't recall ever seeing him. But one takes little notice of mere maintenance men. No further questions, Your Honor. I'd like to question the defendant. Is your starter for ten? Did what? you assault Officer Blunt? Objection, my lord. Why, men? What's wrong? Um, repetition, my lord. <laughs> Objection overruled. <laughs> Are you guilty of assault, Howard? Not me. I was fixing one of the cooling pipes, and it burst. So Blunt soaking was an accident? Not exactly. Why did the pipe burst? Some joker had cut a power cable. Uh -huh. 
and overloaded the steam release in the power station. <laughs> That's what damaged the cooling pipe. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Did you laugh at Blunt's predicament? Laugh? <laughs> I've nearly wet me pants. No further questions, Your Honor. Mr. Greaves, you may start the bonus round. The facts speak for themselves, my lord. Hobbins is a cruel and callous man with no respect for law and order. I recommend the maximum possible sentence. Two days. Any comments from the defense? I don't believe this is happening. This is total madness. You've all been warped in some way. And I think Link is the cause. What? God, you're I've, doing it again! I've heard quite enough of this nonsense. So it's time for me to make my judgment. Yes, hurry up, we're retired. Howard Hobbins, you've won tonight's star prize. <laughs> Life imprisonment. Okay. However, in view of your service to the city, I'm going to reduce your sentence. Two hours community <laughs> service. <laughs> Court dismissed. <laughs> Why yeah. did we have, like, we just got in there and that happened? Okay, anyway. <clears throat> uh, don't, no, no, no. Shut we're, we're out of time. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>